Okay, uh, on to the next part of this video series. We have a former model that's been imported into 3ds Max. Over here on the left, we have uh, numerous parts on the model, and these just break down into individual components, which you can turn on and off. Uh, what I want to do here is just do a quick adjustment for texture mapping. The one here on the right has come in okay, but the one here on the left isn't perfect. So what we want to do is uh, two things. Number one, I want to bring up the material editor, and I want to select this one here, not the one down the bottom. Uh, I'm going to use the compact material editor. And if yours isn't looking exactly like mine, uh, we do have some settings down here where you can adjust how many uh, views you have of the material samples. So I just put mine on six by four. Now, uh, if you want to load in this material, just click on the eyedropper and load it in. And this is the concrete texture directly out of format. So I haven't done anything to it. If I do the same on the model that has textured correctly, you'll see it comes in pretty much the same. So what we need to do is not actually adjust the material here. This is a, a quick workaround called a UVW mapping. So with the model selected, over here on the second tab, we can do a quick drop down and we're looking for what's called the UVW map. So UVW, just type it in, UVW map. And now what this does is it allows you to control the wrapping of the material. So by default, it's gone to planner and we want box. And I'm gonna turn off real world map scale because I want to retain this material texture UV mapping, but I want to adjust this one. So I'm just gonna hit that and you'll see instantly by turning that off, it's now giving us a slightly better result. Now I'm not gonna to be too accurate about this. You can uh, do this all accurate if you want to. Uh, I'm just gonna use uh, 30 by 30 by 30 because the texture map is kind of correct, but I just wanna scale it appropriately. So I'm just gonna go 30, use my arrow key to go down through the length, the width and the height. And now we're kind of getting the results of this texture mapping correctly. If you do want to make all of these look exactly the same, this is a little trick. You can go right click and go select similar. And if I just isolate that selection, that has grabbed all the materials which have those concrete uh, attributes to them. So if I just go down to the same thing we did before, which was click on the second tab, navigate down to UVW map, and you can actually type in UVW map if you wanna bring it up quickly. And this now creates a new UVW map for all of the concrete elements. So all I did was go box, turn off the real world scale, and just height 30, width 30, and length 30. And now you'll have similar texture mapping between the two bits of geometry here. So to bring back the other items, just right click, end isolate, and now you have your textures aligned. So this is in case your former geometry comes in and not everything's all perfect, you can manipulate it. Uh, another thing I wanna do here is deal with the windows. So at the moment, these are the windows and the transparency from format hasn't come through. So I want to create proper transparent windows. So by default, inside of this material editor, you're gonna get solid glass. And you can simply just drag and drop it on to that window pane, and instantly you'll get the transparent material. Or if you've got a lot of windows, just select that one window, right click, select similar and then with the solid glass highlighted in the material editor just apply it and that's done and you can see it's done all windows with that same material so that's the quick texture mapping adjustment inside of 3ds max and we're now moving into uh, cameras and then daylighting